obstacles while filming open water. Chris Kentis, the director, found it difficult to make the film more realistic and intriguing to the audience now, while not being able to use digital or special effects. Elevator, and, you know, they brief you and, and uh, they're baiting to get the shark to come. The shark's coming right at me and there's like a window you shoot out of with a camera. Mm -hmm. And the shark's coming and it's com and it's not stopping and it barreled its way right into the cage with me. Ooh. So I was basically trapped in a small elevator with a, a, with a nine foot shark. Kentis and his wife cage. had the help of Stuart Coe, which is a Hollywood shark wrangler, Wild Sharks, and Bloody Bait, which was used at the proper time to create the film's shark's footage. While filming, Kentis had some close moments with the sharks. Blanchard Ryan had a huge fear of sharks and sometimes felt uneasy about getting into the water. To overcome this, Daniel Travis got into the water every day first and waited until she felt comfortable with him. The director needed the audience to believe the fear of the actors and he wanted there to be real sharks in the scene, so he fed the sharks tuna to get the real feeling of the main characters being in the ocean together with the sharks. The strong currents in the ocean kept moving the actors from their place in the water. It was difficult to film when the actors were drifting off. In order to prevent that from happening, the actors were tethered to the boat so that the strong currents couldn't take them away.